A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Assalamu Alaikum Wa Rahmatullahi Wa Barakatuh My respected brothers and sisters Kindly allow me to look at uh, the meaning of some of the names of Fatima to Zahara and what do we learn from and what we learn from them uh, She's called uh, Swabira You understand? She was too patient We said being patient what we call a Swabru is in three types You understand? A Swabru In the Lima Asuya A Swabru and also sobr in worship. You understand, my brother? A sobr in dalima asfia. A sobr in dalima asfia is being patient in order not to sin. Fatima to Zahra was an infallible person whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala purified in Quran chapter 33, verse number 33. A sobr in dalima asfia. We looked at her martyrdom. When she was killed, muttered, she was patient, my brother. Therefore, in problems, let's learn to be patient, my brother and sister. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Baqarah, verse number 156, that the patient one was, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that in case we are patient, you understand, the mercy and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he gives us his mercy and blessings. Then a sabru also in worship. When we happen to worship, even though you have challenges, let's always remember that in Surah Al-Dariyat, verse number 55, our motive on this universe is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Therefore, from this title of her, a sabira, we learned that she was patient, she never committed any sin, we learned that uh, she was always worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All these are lessons to me and you, my respected brothers and sisters who emulate from Fatima to Zahra alayhi salam. Number two, she was called Fatima. What does Fatima mean? In uh, Amal Atusi, page number 300, there's a tradition which says that inna ma sumiyat ibnati Fatima li'anna Allah azza wa jalla fatamaha wa fatama mani ahabbaha minan nar. Prophet Muhammad named her Fatima because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prevented hell of fire from burning her and also those people who emulate see, her. Therefore, let's try to emulate Fatima to Zahra alayhi salam in order not to be punished in by hello fire. She was called a Siddiqa, the truthful one. As you see that her father was Swadikul Amin, the trust one, the truthful one. And you and as you also that her husband was called Siddiqul Akbar, you understand? Even Fatima to Zahra alayhi salam, she is called as Siddiqa, the trusty, the truthful one. Therefore, let's learn to contemplate on the personalities of these great figures, say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, say that, we, say that uh, we get the best from her. In Quran chapter 9, verse number, 119, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Quran chapter 9, verse number 119, says that we must, uh, we must fear him and be with the truthful ones. The truthful ones are the Ahl Bayt, alayhi muswatu wasalam, the right successors of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, was we saw in Sahih Muslim, volume 2, page number 238. She was, old, she was also called him, Aradiyya, you understand, the satisfied woman, because she was satisfied by the simple life. They lived with her husband, giving out everything they had in order to get the pleasure from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as we saw in Surah Al-Insan, verse number 9, that they gave out everything in order to make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala happy. She was called Muhaddatha. Because the angels used to speak to her as they used to speak to the mother of Nabi Musa in Quran chapter 3, verse number 45. Angels cannot easily speak to you. They speak to figures who are not prone to crimes, my brother and sister. She was called Abatul, the devoted one, because at the age of 18, she devoted all of her life in order for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why we see her at this age leading all the ladies from Nabi Adam 
up to the last led to the end of this universe in paradise she's sayida tun nisa ila alamin min al awwalin wal akhirin in paradise the leader of all ladies in paradise we cannot exhaust this great figure here but let's try to learn from her contemplate from her personalities such that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can change so that we can change our life after learning from her personalities kindly keep sharing up to last person